The Magnite archetype focuses around column manipulation and using your opponent's cards to fulfill the summoning conditions of your high level Magnite monsters. With the ability to summon large beat sticks with additional bonus effects, Magnite players are usually seen opting to go second, punishing their opponents for not playing their columns properly and not respecting the presence of Magnites. With a plethora of utility effects in their monsters and floodgate-like effects in their spells and traps, Magnites are definitely not something to be underestimated. Stay tuned because this is the complete Mech Knight guide. What's up guys, this is TCG Sam here and welcome to another guide type of video. And in today's video, I got a complete guide on how to play Mech Knights and what they really are, as you can see here. So uh, before we begin, I just want to ask you guys to please remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and please remember to turn on that notification bell because it really helps keep me motivated to keep posting videos. But yeah, anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so starting off with the core monsters, we got Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. So what Purple Nightfall does, uh, like all other Mech Knights, uh, which I should mention, they all have the same effect where if there are two or more cards in the same column, you can just special summon this card from your hand to that column. So that includes your cards or your opponent's cards. So if you have a set spell or trap and you're right under the column with your opponent's monster, you get a special summon this card. Now they all have different effects, of course, when they're special summoned. Purple Nightfall is arguably the best one because when it's special summon, um, during either player's turn, you can target any Mech Knight monster you control, banish it until the end phase, ban banish it until the next standby phase, apologies, uh, your next standby phase, and then you get to add one Mech Knight monster from your deck to your hand. And what's so great about that is you get a free body coming back next turn, but you also search another Mech Knight. Like, Mech Knight Blue Sky is the one you usually search. What Blue Sky does, of course, has the same summoning condition, which means once you search it, you get a special summon it out right away for free, because the column's already set up. And when Blue Sky is summoned, you get to add um, Mech, Knight, um, Mech Knight monsters uh, with different names, except for himself from your deck to your hand, based on the number of cards in this column that belong to your opponent. So if your opponent has one, you special this, you add another Mech Knight. So essentially, what you do, you turn the one Nightfall, into a blue sky and blue sky grabs you any other mech knight so you're you've already gone like plus one plus purple nightfall is coming back next damage phase for you to do it again and you have a big body on the field which is why purple nightfall definitely a three of uh, blue sky usually a two of because even drawing it on its uh on its own like it's still playable you get a special summon it to a column search something like purple nightfall if another column set up then you're able to use purple nightfall grab another mech knight which is just really really powerful so these two I like the core Mac Knights that uh, search the other ones, and yeah, these two are arguably the best ones. But of course, um, if that's all they did, then they really wouldn't be good. So I put three of the uh, utility Mac Knights. Um, I know there are other ones, but those ones are like never see play because obviously they're not really good. These are the ones that you will be seeing um, def probably played at one in every Mac Knight deck. Indigo Clips for sure, and then most decks either choose between one red moon or one yellow star depending on the format. So starting with Indigo Eclipse. Indigo Eclipse allows you to move um, any Mech Knight uh, from one column to another, um, including itself. So let's say you Purple Nightfall into a column, search uh, Indigo Eclipse, and you have like another Mech Knight in hand. You can special Indigo Eclipse to that column. Effective Indigo Eclipse will move it to another column. So that frees up the column for you to special summon your other Mech Knights. Another good thing about Indigo Eclipse is it synergizes very, very well with the spells and traps, which I will be getting into later. So Indigo Eclipse, definitely pretty, pretty important. Now Red Moon and um, Yellow Star, a little worse, but they're definitely good utility. So of course, the same summoning condition as all the other Mech Knights, but Red Moon uh, allows you to banish one Mech Knight monster from your graveyard and destroy a monster in the same column, while Yellow Star allows you to banish one Mech Knight um, one Mech Knight monster from your graveyard, then target one spell or trap in the column and destroy it. So depending on the format, Red Moon or Yellow Star could be better, but both definitely uh, still see their uses. So yeah, they, that just sums up um, the utility ones. So usually a very compact uh, Mech Knight engine will play uh, three Nightfall, two Blue Sky, and like one Eclipse at the very minimum, in my opinion. Um, if you want a bigger Mech Knight engine, you can bump Blue Sky up to uh, three and then add in one ye Red Moon or one Yellow Star in addition to the Indigo Eclipse. Um, another interesting Mech Knight monster is actually Mech Knight Abram. So it's a level 4 normal, so you might be wondering what kind of synergy does this actually have with the deck? And it's 
Honestly, I'm gonna be- I actually don't know. Um, like, you can search it as a free level 4 monster, I suppose. Um, you can turn it into something like, um, Link Spider, which sets up a column easily. Um, where your opponent- if your opponent has no cards, you can make Link Spider set, um, a smaller trap, summon your mech knights there, and you're good. But, um, yeah, other than that, I'm not really sure what the synergy is. Um, but it's definitely still something you may or may not see. Uh, also 2k is important to know, it's pretty, pretty big. Uh, finally, the main extra deck monster that I'm going to talk about is Mech Knight of the Morningstar. It's fairly generic. All you need is one, at least one Mech Knight monster and any other monster. So like that includes tokens as well. And what it does is when it's summoned, you get Link Summoned. I apologize. You discard one Mech Knight monster or one World Legacy card. Then you add one World Legacy card from your deck to your hand. Um, which so all the uh, Mech Knight spells and traps are World Legacy cards. So you're able to search those, which I'll talk about later. But its all, other effect is also very very good. So, if a Mech Knight monster battles a monster in a different column than it, your monster cannot be destroyed by that battle and you take no battle damage from that. Which makes your Mech Knight monsters just so sticky. So, especially if you have cards like Indigo Eclipse on the board with Morningstar in the extra monster zone, if your opponent tries to summon something um, that's in a different column, so if your opponent has a Link monster, they actually can't destroy your guys by battle. But like, um, even if your opponent summons something in the main monster zone, Indigo Eclipse can just move it. Uh, to another zone, and now your opponent tries to attack it, you take no damage and your monster isn't destroyed by battle. Making Morningstar a very, very uh, annoying monster to deal with, and making all your mech knights very, very sticky. So Morningstar definitely should uh, not be underestimated. Um, I know there's another uh, Link 3 monster, which I do not have at the moment, but I, w I think I'll put it up on the screen. Um, I think it may see uh, a little bit of play here or there, but most of the time, I think it's just Morningstar that you gotta, uh, gotta know what it does. So yeah, that's going to do it for the monsters, and now I'm going to be moving on to the spells. So, the first spell uh, in the Mech Knight lineup is World Legacy's Memory. So what this does, it acts as essentially an emergency teleport for your Mech Knight monsters. So you get a special summon one from your hand or deck, and return it to your hand during the end phase. Uh, the only bad thing about this, it locks you out from special summoning any monsters other than Mech Knights for the rest of the turn. But with the card like um, Blue Sky, you are actually able to emergency teleport him into um, one of your opponent's columns with cards and get a search because its effect triggers whenever he's special summoned, not just when he's special summoned with its own effect. Another thing is if you want, you summon something like Purple Nightfall, banish it um, on your opponent's turn, search another Mech Knight, and then during the standby phase, this comes back, plus you have the Mech Knight in hand that you search from Purple Nightfall to get you just so much more advantage. So, memory also. Um, Detailing out uh, Indigo Eclipse can be very good for the spells and traps I'll go on. Um, I'll discuss later on. Um, so in a pure Mech Knight build, this is definitely a three of. It's very very powerful, um, and like you just get it, it's just so great for your um, for your Mech Knight cards. But if you're playing Mech Knights as an engine, which more times than not, in my opinion, it is being played as an engine, this may be uh, cut down to like one or two just because of its restriction to special summon. Um, only be able to special summon mech knights for the rest of the turn. It's important to keep that restriction in mind, but nonetheless, very, very powerful because it's a quick play. And now the three, um, what I call world mech knight floodgates in a way, because they all floodgate esque effects. So I'm going to start with world legacy key. So all when it's activated, you target one of your banished mech knight monsters or world legacy cards added to your hand. So that's okay with cards like purple nightfall. If you banish it, um, Earlier to search something, you gotta add it back and special summon it if you haven't already. But its other effect is your negate any opponent's trap effect that activates in the same column as a Mech Knight monster you control. So this is where your column manipulation becomes very, very powerful. So with cards like Indigo Eclipse and uh, Purple Nightfall, you gotta manipulate your column super easily. Indigo Eclipse, like when your opponent tries to set a card in a different column, Indigo Eclipse can move straight to it, and if they try to activate it, he negates it. Uh, you're also able to chain Eclipse to when your opponent activates something, so you move it to that column and the chain resolves backwards and, and your opponent's trap card will just resolve negated. Same thing with Purple Nightfall, you get to choose the column in which it returns to, which is just super powerful. Um, the other the other traps have a similar clause where um, it negates effects based on uh, where your mech knights are. But World XC Secret is probably the best one because one it acts as a monster reborn for a level 5 or higher monster when it's special summoned. So you get a special summon a free mech knight back from your grave, maybe triggering something like Blue Sky in the process or setting up an Indigo Eclipse. But more importantly, it acts as a pseudo skill drain. Um, 
because it negates any opponent's monster effect that activates in the same column as the Mech Knight monster you control. So if you place it under like the extra monster zone, like your opponent's link mo and you take up the other extra monster zone, your opponent's uh, link monsters are essentially all skill drained, which is super super powerful. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, with the column manipulation of uh, Purple Nightfall and Indigo Eclipse, it's just super powerful. Finally, World Legacy Whispers, uh, I don't see this one played as much, probably because its activated effect isn't really that good. So what it does is when it's activated, you target one level 5 or higher monster in the field, it gains a thousand attack and defense until the end of the turn. So pretty, pretty underwhelming, but it, its floodgate effect is maybe arguably the most powerful one because it negates an opponent, any opponent's spell effect that activates in the same column as a Mech Knight, so it acts as an Imperial Order. Uh, but like I said before, this one you probably won't see played as much because of its uh, very lackluster activation effects. Cards like Secret acts as a Call of the Haunted, which is okay. Legacy Key is not great, but like, it's not bad either. But like, it's just World Legacy Whispers is not that uh, good. But of course, all these are very format dependent. If you're playing a very spell heavy format, you can put this in. This one is usually in every format because monsters are kind of just dominating Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. This one in a trap format. It's also good because once you search, you get to activate it right away. Um, so yeah, you get activated on your turn. You don't have to wait for your opponent's turn to use these as disruptions, which is just really, really good. Um, but yeah, that's actually gonna uh, do it for the spells and traps. All right, so welcome to the second part of the video where I'm gonna be discussing some plays you can make with this stack. I know I kind of talked about it during um, when I was describing the uh, what the monsters did and what the spells and traps did, but there's some notable plays I do want to mention to you guys. So. Let's, let's say you have a purple nightfall, um, there's like a spell, or spell here, and your opponent, let's say, has um, has a monster over here. We're just going to assume that our opponent has a monster in the center column, and we have like a random spell or trap and like purple nightfall. So the most basic mech knight play is you set your cards in the same column, special summon your mech knight. Uh, if it's purple nightfall, you got to use its effect. Um, you gotta, usually you want to search either um, Blue Sky or Indigo Eclipse as your first search. If you if you get Blue Sky, you get special Blue Sky. Blue Sky adds you like any other uh, Mech Knight. And if you have another column set up, you just get another free Mech Knight. So you get two free Mech Knights of just one Nightfall, which is pretty, pretty good. And you get Nightfall coming back. Or if you could, if you have like Blue Sky in hand, you, you get Indigo Eclipse. Indigo Eclipse moves special Blue Sky. And now Blue Sky grabs you an extra Mech Knight like Mech Knight Yellow Star. So... Honestly, um, that is like the most simple um, Mech Knight uh, play. That's the basic play style. You want to be setting your cards in the same column. You want to punish your opponent for not playing around your Mech Knights um, if they put cards in the same column. Like, especially if they put cards like under um, their extra monster zone with Link monsters. Like, like something like a, uh, like a deck like Spirals where a double helix has to summon directly under. If you put a spell or trap under and you summon Mech Knight Blue Sky, you have three searches, which is just absolutely insane. But like, of course that doesn't happen, but in theory, like, if your opponent doesn't play around it, you don't even need to set your own cards. Like, you don't even have to draw spells or traps um, to be able to special summon it. Um, that's gonna actually lead me to the discussion of some of the flaws of this deck. Um, like I mentioned earlier, you do have to have columns set up to actually be able to summon your monsters because they're all such high level aside from Abram. Um, which is why uh, this most more most of the time is a going second deck. Although going first, you do have to play other cards uh, to actually make columns, like in Alistair the Invoker and whatever. Um, but going second, like, if your opponent doesn't give you any cards, you actually, like, once again, you, you might find it a difficult, uh, difficult to actually set up a column to really just summon your cards in, which is just important to consider with this deck. Um, this is why you do have to play a good balance of spells or traps with this, so that you can set it in, uh, the same column as your opponent's spells or traps or monsters. Uh, just to keep in mind, um, yeah, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, as I also mentioned earlier, you can play, usually you can play this, um, this engine with, like, different other engines, like the Invoked engine, because Alistair just gets you a free spell to set, you can turn Alistair into Al Mirage or a Secure Garner, and you get a free column right away, because you just set Invocation right under it, and you get a free column for your Mech Knights, which is very, very important. Um, but other than that, like, Mech Knights can definitely be splashed in, uh, any going second deck as free beat sticks that also get you advantage that may or may not force your opponent to actually um, negate it. So like, just the purple nightfall alone applies so much pressure. Uh, where you summon it into a column, activates effect, if your opponent doesn't stop it, that's fine. Um, you get a free mech knight, so it already replaced itself, 
Then you're summoning that Mech Knight, and whatever effect that Mech Knight has, like Blue Sky, getting another search, your opponent just, like, if it doesn't stop there, like, you just start snowballing. You get a free, um, another Mech Knight. If you have, there's another column, you special it. Now you got two free monsters for Link summoning without even using your normal summon, or you just got, like, two really, really big beaters. And plus, you get a Nightfall coming back for resources, like, every, uh, other turn, which kind of just forces your opponent to stop you at the, your very first, um, Mech Knight here, with, like, Purple Nightfall. Which is why, like, obviously, this... Probably the best card in the Mech Knight uh, archetype. Oh, uh, I did almost forget to mention, uh, there is another Mech Knight card, Mech Knight Orcus Girsu, which I do not have in the moment. I will put him up on the screen right now. And it's a little late to be discussing him, but um, he's very, very good in sending like other World Legacy cards. I believe there's one gauntlet that allows you to kind of combo with uh, Girsu alone. Girsu definitely helps this deck out a lot in going first because it's a, it's a normal summon for the deck. The deck doesn't actually have a normal summon other than Avram. Uh, built into it so mech knight orcus gear suit very 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 good card that synergizes super well with the mech knights of course it's a mech knight name so you get to search it with ripple nightfall blue sky you tell it out with cards like uh memory so yeah i just, uh that's all i wanted to discuss uh for this deck really and yeah i'm i'm just gonna conclude it here so i just want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you for sticking around with me for this long if you liked the video please remember to leave a like uh on the video of course subscribe if you haven't already and uh comment below let me thought let me know what you thought of uh this if there's anything i missed if there's anything you liked uh just let me know in the comments below and yeah like i said that's gonna do it for me guys uh thank you so much for watching once again and i will see you soon if you guys want the cheapest Yu-Gi-Oh cards on the market in Canadian dollars with free shipping to Canada, then be sure to check out my eBay page in the description below.